One of the things that we're discussing today is when to take your teenage daughter to the gynecologist. And it brings up a lot of issues for families. Do you wait for their menstrual cycle to begin or when you suspect they may be thinking about sex? So what are your thoughts on it as they begin to make those annual appointments? You've got a daughter that's nearing that age. I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> a lot of parents don't. <laughs> a lot of parents don't. We're going to give you some good advice today, and we've got a doctor in the house that will help you kind of walk through some of those stages of jumping over the wall right. into issues that are hard to think about. Right. Well, just going to a gynecologist appointment is like scary for me as a grown woman. I hate to say that, but it's a scary <laughs> thing. So, but a lot of people are definitely um, commenting on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, if it's something that many of you have experienced with your kids, and we've got a lot of advice from you on Smart Family 15 Facebook, Christine says she thinks once a girl starts her period, when she is, it is when she should go. She adds, parents should give a week before the appointment to explain what's happening to her body and what she should expect. Judy says she, it, she took her daughter when she was about 15 and when she was interested in boys. They not only give exam, but if you go to the right, OB. They will discuss many things that are helpful to her for making a wise decision about sex and protection. That's a good one, too. Always use your doctor for advice. It is, a prof it is a professional opinion that really helps them. They never listen to their moms. Boy, do I know that one. Well, if you have more comments, we are reading them right now live, so you can join us in the conversation right now. So log in. Let's chat. Well, let's continue the conversation. Lots of things to consider when making this decision. And potential diseases are a big factor as well. In fact, did you know that up to 80% of Americans have human pampiloma virus, or HPV? But many people don't even know that there is a vaccine that can be given for that. All things that you would learn from your gynecologist on one of those first visits. Dr. Christine McCluskey is an OBGYN with Goodman and Partridge, a big name here in the Valley, and she joins us with some of the answers to our questions today and to give us some guidelines on a lot of this. Nice to see you, Doctor. Thank you. Good to see you, Connie. Well, Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. It's <laughs> nice to have you here. When, when we talk about our, our teens, we do get a little squeamish, like, oh my goodness, now we're starting to, you know, talk about the VJJ, and so now what happens? Right. We're, we're opening different doors here. Right. Right. When should a parent take their child um, to the doctor? And it can't be, it's not that scary. It, it's, it's not that scary, but it, as Daphne already said, she's still frightened by, those, by that experience. The as thought of going to the gynecologist is yeah. a very scary thing. And, and the goal should be for the doctor to make, the, to make a teenager so comfortable that they won't mind going back. Hopefully, no one's ever going to really like it or love it. But yeah. hopefully they'll be, they'll be comfortable enough that they'll feel feel comfortable going, yeah. um, and they should take you should take your child the first time between uh, your daughters between 13 and 15 years old, yeah. um, just to talk to the doctor. Hopefully, they haven't been sexually active at that point. If they are sexually active, that does change that. But they should go in and talk to the doctor. The doctor can give them um, uh, sexual sexual transmitted diseases information mm -hmm. and explain what an exam would be like when they do have one, so that when they go back, they won't be quite so frightened yeah. by it. This is a great tool as well, a great appointment for the parents, because yeah. if parents haven't been able to talk to their children about sexually transmitted disease or about being sexually active, this is a place where the doctor can really step in and educate the child on exactly. a lot of the things that are out there. Exactly. Yeah. So then, um, that is a much different appointment than your pelvic, your, your pap smear would be, and that happens later. What age should we be doing that? The new guidelines from the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology mm -hmm. is that the first pap smear should be done at age 21 or three years after a girl becomes sexually active. Now, there's a lot of exceptions to this rule. Yeah. Um, it, it, pelvic pain, problems with periods, so forth, those things would, would, um, would require an earlier exam. Yeah. Let's talk about that HPV vaccine as well, because there is right. one available. Um, it, as I was doing research, I thought it was interesting to find out that there are a hundred different types of this virus exactly. out there. Wow. And that 30 yeah. of them can cause cancer. Exactly. We don't even know what some of those HPV viruses can do yet. Yeah. So to know that there is a vaccine against that is a, a huge information that parents should know. 
And the vaccine actually only covers, one vaccine covers two types and another covers four types. Mm -hmm. But it seems to be really, really helping decrease the amount of, well, cervical cancer and um, human papillomavirus warts. Okay. Should the um, parents, the mothers especially, be accompanying their child on that first visit when they're between 13 and 15 years old into the doctor's office? Um, I definitely think they should. Now, if the daughter, um, the doctor will usually ask, are you comfortable with your mom staying in the room? And if she isn't comfortable with her mom staying in the room, there might be a reason for it. And mom mm -hmm. should step out in that situation. We might get some information that we need that we might not have otherwise gotten and had because the mom stayed. they're a minor, the mother will eventually find that out anyway. Exactly. She yeah. will find out either way. She will find out, but the child may be more comfortable that okay. way. Dr. Christine McCleskey, thanks for being You're with welcome. us. We appreciate it. Here with Goodman and Partridge. Daphne?